baby, take my hand And we don't need to do the things we don't wanna do Welcome back to my channel so I am back home as you would have seen and back into routine I'm not gonna lie I'm struggling a lot not really a lot so once I get up and do my day I'm fine but to actually wake up maybe because Bali is two hours before us I'm just struggling hardcore like usually my body clock has no issues with waking up early and just like springing out of bed. Hello. Good morning. Where's your brother? Oh, hello. You don't want to come? <laughs> Good boys. Good boys. So I've just been up doing emails and now I'm about to take the dogs for a walk but before I take the dogs for the walk I'm just going to quickly prep my breakfast so since being back I have still been intermittent fasting but just not as long so before I went to Bali I was eating around one like not one probably around 12 o'clock whereas now I'm eating around 10 and I stopped eating last night probably around 7 30 so it's still around um, 14 hours or something like that so still intermittent fasting just doing a lesser window I've been back on to having protein oats because it's quite cold in Queensland and oh my god I showed you guys I think I I don't think I've spoken about this but um, I'm trying out this new protein and it's like the most delicious thing ever so I'm gonna quickly make that and that's just gonna soak up while I take the puppies for a walk and then I'll come back and eat it Do you? cook my breakfast if you don't like if you're at work and you don't want to cook your oats on the stove you would just do it in the microwave so I've just got my oats that have been sitting probably for like 40 minutes now and I just chuck them in the saucepan with some berries with a bit more almond milk and just to heat them up to defrost the berries and simple I just topped it with granola mixed it around because I love everything like mushed together and some salted caramel coconut yogurt this stuff is so good 
but I can't have too much of it because it's very sweet. So then I have some normal coconut yogurt too. Delicious. So this is the granola I was using. It's just Nutri Boost. You guys have probably seen me use this before. It is my favorite granola ever. It's like sugar free, but actually tastes so good. I've been using this for around two years and it's like my number one. have been talking about trying a new protein you would have seen it previously on my story and since then I've just had quite a few DMs particularly also questions around you know should you have protein powder when should you have it all that sort of thing so you don't actually need protein powder it's like this misconception in the gym industry that you need protein powder to build muscle and you definitely need protein but protein powder is not a must. For me, I have protein powder because of the taste. It's sweet. Um, it sort of like kicks my sweet cravings. Otherwise, if I don't have it, I will get enough protein from my food. Don't get confused by that. You don't actually need to take protein powder. It's more of a preference. I like it because it's sweet and I can make yummy food creations with it. So you don't need protein powder, you do need protein though. So protein is a macronutrient. And personally, I have a source of protein in every single meal. And you probably hear that a lot and I only recently found out why and I love knowing why. So in previous videos, I have talked to you guys basically about the sugar roller coaster, the sugar crash. So basically when you have sugar, you get this high, you feel all good, you get energy, but then really fast you get a crash and then when you get a crash, you crave more sugar and that's kind of like the sugar craving cycle that I've spoken about previously. So protein helps slow the absorption of any um, carbohydrates. So it lessens the intensity and the re um, like regularness, that's not a word, how regular you will have like a sugar roller coaster craving cycle thing happen. So that's why you should have a protein with every single meal. That's kind of just like a very simple way of saying it. And I loved finding that out because I kind of just never knew, like people would always say it and I never knew, but it's to balance, <clears throat> it's to balance your blood sugar levels. So really good idea to have a source of protein with every single meal. Also, I found out the other day, signs of not having enough protein in your diet is like you feel weak, fatigued a lot. You can also have hair loss and change in hair like texture. Also, something interesting I found out is if you don't have enough protein in your diet, you can get really bloated. Whereas the signs of too much protein... And this is another thing is people think in the health industry, oh, protein's healthy, have it with every meal. It's so easy to overconsume protein, just like any um, macronutrient, like fats and carbs. I don't know, people like think just because it's protein, you can just have endless amounts and it doesn't count. It still has calories, it still counts, and your body doesn't like when you've got too much protein. So Signs of too much protein in your diet is constipation, not being able to poop, I lucky don't have that problem. I'm like the opposite. Also like weight gain, bad breath, body odor, um, all really gross things. Anyway, so they're sort of signs of too much protein. So it's about finding that balance. I have vegan protein because whey protein just doesn't digest well. And I notice that I get very bloated and yeah, it just doesn't help with my digestion. As you guys will probably know, vegan protein is really hard to find a good one because most of them are like gritty and it's like, ugh, I don't know, it tastes gross. I've been on the search for a couple of months. That's why I haven't had a protein. And then recently I got those like little sample packs of the protein I'm currently using. So I'm obsessed with two of their proteins. So the actual name is Botanical Blends, their plant protein. And my flavor that you saw this morning, my oats, is this cacao hazelnut flavor. Oh my God. And then my other, oh my God, guys. Literally the best. If you try a flavor from this company, please make it caramelized popcorn flavor. Like I die. You guys know how much I love salted caramel and it's so 
good like so good is it contains digestive enzymes and prebiotics and it's also like gluten free dairy free obviously organic all natural but yeah so that's just like a little update on protein i hope that answers some of your questions if you have slid into my dms and i haven't gotten back to you i'm sorry i'm struggling <laughs> I'm just making, not making, this is leftover lunch. So I'm just having lunch. I've just got some salmon and is it called risoni? Risoni? I don't know. Whatever that is, it's just a whole fresh meal. And I'm just adding some spinach and lemon on top. So delicious. Um <laughs> P.S. guys, I just want to say a massive thank you for all the amazing supportive comments on my unscheduled video yesterday like it honestly means the world to me that you would take the time to comment and support me i have never felt so like happy with the people around me like i know it's all virtual but i honestly feel like you, my subscribers my followers are like my friends and just the response I got because I just was super nervous about the video yesterday as I sort of explained like I'm definitely someone who cares what people think I'm trying to get over that but I definitely am and just the response I just can't so I just want to say a really big thank you I am going to make some treats I'm making some protein bark This protein fudge, it's so good. I've made it previously. And like I was explaining previously about having protein with every meal because it helps like stabilize your blood sugar levels. So even with my snacks and my desserts, I always make sure I have protein. And that's the reason why you don't need to have protein powder, but for snacks and sweet foods, it's like, Protein doesn't taste sweet usually. Like snacks and desserts and stuff usually do have quite a bit of sugar to like for the taste. So having protein in there is a must just to like. So that protein fudge will be going in my next newsletter, which should be going out Friday morning. So if you want that recipe, just go into my description bar and you'll find my website link and then you just subscribe and then you should get a welcome email to confirm your subscription you confirm it and then you will get the emails um, i just got the protein bark or fudge whatever you want to call it out of the freezer oh my god guys made sorry made with that salted caramel popcorn protein like next level how good does that look mm, i die so obviously it is night time i'm not gonna lie i completely forgot i was filming this afternoon not that anything interesting happened i was just on my computer doing emails editing a vlog and doing a little bit of study so yeah but now i'm super hungry i'm gonna cook me and tim dinner i don't know what we're gonna have um, I'm thinking I'll be the best wifey ever and cook steak and potato fries because this is Tim's favorite. Tim's watching TV as per usual. Our deal is I cook and he cleans up, hey? Well, not for once. It's all Most the time. time. It's all the time. Or sometimes I cook and clean up. That also happens, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, Tim, what do you think of me becoming a health coach? What's your thoughts? Uh, I've told everyone in the tube. I think it's amazing. And I fully support you <laughs> all the way. <laughs> all the way. All the way. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. And so does Wolf. So does Wolf. He's acting crazy. We're just watching, we're currently watching Love Island. 
and we are actually obsessed hey i can't like it's so cringe <laughs> once you start you can't stop literally it's so cringe but i just we can't stop watching it we have to finish it dinner's now. ready i just got our steak chips and green with the pine nuts this looks so delicious What are you doing? Tim. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Did you actually just go to the shops then and get that? No. I don't, I don't know where this came from. <laughs> Guys, look what I'm currently looking at. <laughs> it's like half a cake, a bottle of milk. You are ridiculous. I hate you. Look, the puppies are getting a little aggro. If you have a boyfriend who can eat whatever he wants and you're here trying to be like healthy and health conscious, I feel ya. It's a daily struggle. I'm just sitting here looking at the chocolate cake. But my protein bark was really delicious, so it's fine. And I'm having a sleepy tea, so that always helps. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching my video. And like I said, I just wanna say a big thank you for all your amazing supportive comments on my last video when I just did my little announcement. It just means so much to me, so thank you. And yeah, if you want that recipe for that protein bark, Make sure you subscribe, subscribed to my newsletter and that should go out probably tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you in my next vlog.